Abdul Nurmagomedov, long time training at American Kickboxing Academy in Northern California from Dagestan, Russia. And a guy who it took a while for him to realize a UFC championship opportunity for Habib Nurmagomedov. This is a decorated fighter, wrestler, grappler who brings so much to the table. The Sambo master, Habib Nurmagomedov. This guy is one of the toughest guys we've ever seen compete in the octagon. His ability to overcome adversity, to absorb punishment, and then come back to deliver his own is a really amazing thing to watch. So here's the longtime mixed martial artist, Stockton, California's Nate Diaz, a Gracie Jiu Jitsu fighter, a lot of great submission skills, but largely known for his boxing as well. He can take a shot, he can certainly dish one out, he'll lean on the chin as well, and of course, no bigger moment in his career than when he submitted Conor McGregor on less than two weeks' notice at UFC 196. Nathan Diaz making the walk once again tonight. Nate Diaz is a crazy jiu-jitsu fighter with an impressive record of submission victories. He's also got a very active and effective boxing style. Look for him to throw a huge number of strikes while this fight is on the feet. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 29, Diaz is 32. He is two inches taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lovey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's a surprise. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. And now it's his opponent. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. Ready? All right, ready to go with live action here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Well, Nate Diaz has been in there with some of the best lightweights and welterweights on the planet. Tonight, trying to register another big win. He figures to have the boxing advantage. You know he has the reach advantage. We'll see how Nate Diaz approaches the early portions of this fight. That punch will work right through the guard. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here? One thing. Oh, man. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Now closes the distance. Armando Medoff's got the double underhooks here on the clinch now. Joe, let's see what he can do with it. Let's go, guys. Work. There he goes, moves to his back. Close quarters for a while, now they separate. Effective jab there by Diaz. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab effectively here. Nermanko Menov gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Well, he has found his range early and often tonight. Another punch to the head by Diaz. Nurmagomedov gets 
Hooks, double under hooks, not good for the opposition here. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai Huge clinch. Elbow there. Oh, big elbow! He's got hurt here. Oh, very nice. Look at this, take down! Two minutes remain in the round. Going for the rear naked. Can't hold it. executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Now he's back into full guard. Nice. Now he's stacking him. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Back to stacking him. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he passes, side control. He's trying to go after an arm here. He's got his arm pinned down. It looks like he's got that Kimura locked up tight. He's got that pretty good, that's pretty tight. And he's free. Beautiful Kimura escape. He's in full guard here. Slides him over and nice reversal here. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. Just do the exact same thing. Just set it up. Just be smart with the setup. Throw some one. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Ready? Ready? All right, second round underway. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he in that last round is still affecting him. He's gonna want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Diaz gets touched by that kick to the body. Going for the takedown here. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. He's in full guard here. He's looking for the triangle. Transition to the armbar. More and more pressure on that arm. He might have to tap. Beautiful technique in winning this fight by armbar. Yeah, no doubt about it, Joe. Really impressive work here tonight. The way he worked to secure that arm and ultimately get the submission finish. He was going to stop at nothing to get the armbar here tonight. And ultimately, his opponent is forced to tap. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Nate Diaz! All right, so the celebration is on in the 209 and beyond. Congratulations to Nate Diaz. Yet another big UFC victory here tonight. And he just continues to add to what has been a remarkable legacy. Certainly his.